Welcome to Time Out, an exciting new educational video series brought to you by First Case. In this series, we're bringing you easy to access education with no fees and no tests. Break free from boring staff meetings and dive into educational content that you can put into practice immediately. So let's get started with today's episode of Time Out. Welcome to the show. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about time management. And while this isn't a technical skill, you have to be able to manage your time well in order to be successful in the operating room. Proper time management increases your productivity and efficiency, it decreases stress and anxiety, and ultimately makes your job easier. I realize that we work in a very stressful environment, and saying that anything can reduce stress seems a little far-fetched. But if you manage your time well, you'll reduce the added stress that comes from lack of preparation or feeling like you're falling behind. So, how can you manage your time well in the OR? I've got five tips for you today. By themselves, they really sound simple, but if you start making these simple things a habit, you're going to see a huge improvement throughout the course of your day. Number one, get to work early. Every facility has rules about how soon you can get to work, so you have to follow your policies. But no matter where you work, flying into the OR at the very last minute doesn't set anyone up for success. Your team that has to pick up the slack for you to get the room ready isn't going to be happy. And you're going to be starting out the day behind because you didn't have time to get ready. So do your best to get to work early or on time and start your shift off on the right foot. Number two, plan ahead and prepare. When you get to work early, you have time to look at your room schedule and prepare for your day. Don't just look at the first case, but look ahead to all of the cases scheduled for your room. When you go to the supply room for items for your first case, go ahead and gather the supplies you'll need for the following cases. You'll save time and save your steps. And when you're setting up for your cases, if there are instruments that weren't pulled that you know will be needed, or something that's usually available but on hold, go ahead and pull it before the case so you don't have to go running for it if it gets asked for. Number three, stay organized. Check your room in the morning and make sure it's stocked. Check your paperwork folders in the morning to make sure you have all of the different forms that you're going to need throughout the day. You don't want to have to go running during the middle of a case because something is missing. Number four, prioritize. Everything that we do is important, but everything isn't always a priority. When you learn to prioritize the tasks that you need to complete during each case, you have a clear plan for what you need to do, which helps reduce stress and keeps you from getting distracted. It also helps you make sure that everything gets done like you're charting, and you're not stuck scrambling at the end of the case trying to get everything done. Number five, communicate. This really is crucial to the job that we do. Every case isn't always perfect and doesn't always run smoothly. It's difficult to keep track of 47 specimens or grab extra supplies during an emergency. Don't be afraid to ask for help. An extra set of hands, if they're available, will help keep you from getting behind. Okay, those are my five tips for successful time management in the OR. Our jobs are stressful just because of the nature of what we do. We deal with chaos, we are run ragged, and we finish cases completely exhausted sometimes. That's just part of it. But managing our time wisely by getting to work on time, planning ahead, staying organized, prioritizing our tasks, and communicating when we need help will greatly reduce any added stress and anxiety that a lack of planning would cause. If time management is a struggle for you, start with one of these tips and master it. Then add another one until you are consistently doing all of them. I can assure you that you'll notice an immediate improvement in your workday. And speaking of time management, that's all the time we have for today. I'm your host, Melanie Perry. Thanks for watching. That's going to do it for this episode of Time Out. As a reminder, you can help support us with a like, a share, or by subscribing to this channel. You can also subscribe to the First Case Podcast on your favorite podcast application. I would appreciate a rating and a review because your feedback is important to this show. On behalf of everyone at First Case, thank you for watching this episode of Time Out.